Hello everyone. This is Vikrant from Team Amp. And, and this is Shripa from Team Amp. And as usual, he will not let me introduce myself, and he will cut me off when I'm trying to say something. As per usual, but today we are going to witness those tables being turned because I'm going to be doing a decent amount of talking because Vikrant is <laughs> going to be trying his hand at fluid art for the very first time in his life. He has not been a person who is necessarily artistically inclined in the sense with painting and stuff. So this is a first for him and I'm just so excited to witness this because as you can see, I am the queen of fluid art. I mean, oh my goodness. So under my watchful eye, <laughs> Vikrant will be... Uh, doing his first attempt at fluid art so we can't how are you feeling about this uh you know i'm kind of uh excited and okay. uh, one part excited one part scared the shit out of because <laughs> uh, i've never been an arts and crafts kind of person <laughs> like even in school i was never the arts and crafts kid uh, i was the kid who would be sitting uh, in the corner reading a book uh so yeah this is this is like completely a new experience for me but yeah we are we are the art and mind project so all arts are inclusive and uh, we should open ourselves to those things so yeah this is my first attempt at uh, fluid art and i'm excited for it yay so let's just get right into it vikrant all right Okie doke. All right, great. Awesome. This is actually so interesting. I mean, um, this is so interesting that you, Vikrant, are doing something that I am a pro at. I am. I don't even know. Kuchhi tari sapne kuchhi muse karna is not like my nature, but it is quite interesting. Oh. Uh, Oh shut up! Come on, you know that's not dishonest. But uh, it is actually quite interesting to note that you are trying your hand at doing fluid art, and I am very, very curious to see what you do. Super curious. Yeah, I don't be surprised if the if, if the result is shit. <laughs> I don't know. I mean. It's you. Can't say I'll be surprised. So, yeah. Uh. Huh. So, what are you doing? I'm opening up the canvas. Ooh, what canvas is that? Show, show, show na. It's show na. Okay. I guess you are. Not opening it in the right way. Is this not the way you open it? Is this not the right way? I can't see it, so I can't tell you if it's the right way or not. Yeah. Okay. It's fine. Is the back supposed to be like this? Uh, hold it up. I can't see it properly. Is the canvas coming off? Yeah, a little bit. Yeah, it shouldn't be coming off. The rest are good. I think there's something wrong with this one itself. You can probably get in touch with the people you purchased this from, and you can tell them that there was one piece that was defective. That is not normally how a canvas should be. Okay. No, but this yeah. one's good. All right, cool. Show me once again. Just a second. Let me. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Ah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So actually, that that other canvas, the issue. Okay, just hold up both the canvases, the back sides of the both of them, up to the screen. So the difference here is, if you can see the one in your left hand, uh, it has this. squarish thing that is stuck on it with a different pattern mm. whereas the one in your right hand which you had it doesn't have that squarish thing stuck so that additional paper kind of sort of helps uh, 
let the folds of the canvas stay on the back and stick and stay firm so that it doesn't unfurl like this cool the to like i'll use a little cello tape on that yeah, uh, 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 on the don't use cello tape cello tape se behtar hoga if you have like paper tape you can use paper tape because that will be a okay. little more firmer or like probably masking tape see cello tape when it comes in contact with heat it is very likely that it may just slip off उसके ऊपर मैंने सब रखा है सो दिस इज दिस इज द स्टैंड दैट आई एम यूज ओके दिस इज द कप एंड सो दीज आर दैट आई एम गोन यूज All right, uh, awesome. So let's pick out the colors first, so that we are. All ready. right. All right. So uh, since since one of my favorite colors is red, all time favorite color. My goodness. So I thought I'd use this as the base. Uh huh. Okay. To begin with, with this. Okay. Is red. Okay. Okay. Now I like since it's a very dark darkish uh, color. so i thought to co- contrast it uh, uh, i would use this uh, what is this color called by the way uh, <laughs> sky <laughs> yes <laughs> i would use uh, i would use the sky blue uh, along with it all right okay okay yeah and uh, along with that i was uh, going for a, a shade of yellow but okay. i am a little uh, confused so i don't want to use this one but i am a okay. little confused between these two yellows show me show me show me show Starting. me bring them closer so baby bring them closer so i can't see the both of them the okay so i um okay So, what are you? Are you looking for something a little more subtle, or are you looking for something a little more bright? So, I, uh, I, I think since this is the beginning, let's 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 do subtle. <laughs> All right. <laughs> then maybe the other one, the one which is in your left hand. Yeah. Okay. Then maybe you can go for this yellow. Okay. It looks more golden to me than yellow, actually. Yeah, I think which shade of yellow is this? I think it's ochre. Ah, ochre. Hmm. Yeah, that's why it looks a little similar to a uh, golden because of the packaging as well. Okay. So, uh, so how do I do this? Also, uh, how much? You're just picking of three colors. You're just picking three colors. Yeah, to begin with, let's let's start with nice and simple three. All right. Okay. Ah, uh, show me the surface. Okay. Can you, you to, uh, move your camera a little towards your workstation, if that's possible? It's 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 actually ah. Uh, so I'm on a stand. The camera is on a stand. So I okay. just like I think. So this is my workspace. Yeah, so you'll actually have to constantly show it like that because otherwise we are not going to be able to see the fluid art. Pura process dekhna bhi hai hume. Samjha? Ah, wo to hai, wo to hai. Ah, uh, I'll uh, I'll try and figure something out with, uh, <laughs> with regards to that. Okay. Uh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, okay. Uh, okay. Uh-huh. Okay. Right. So so how how do I do this? How much of uh so how much of the red should I fill in? Like since this is going to be the base, so mm-hmm. I think this should be more, right? More of the red. Okay. 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 So should, should I like fill half or quarter or what in this cup? Why don't you just take a free hand and see for yourself how it works for you? just just go ahead and just do it don't uh, uh 
wait for me to tell you how to do it just experience it for yourself na experiences are great teachers so experience it for yourself okay so i'm going to pour the red a little all right you know you eventually will have to move the camera to such an angle that we can see what you're actually doing right Yes, I show. I show you uh, one side. Raise it up. Board. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise it up. Raise your hand up a little bit. Okay. Oh my God, that's some awful paint. So I poured up. A little, a little up, a little up, a little up. Can't really see the paint. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. Awesome, awesome, okay. awesome. Okay. So I'm gonna pour uh, the blue a little. Okay. Just. Yes, Show me, show me, show me how the blue is falling. Just show me how the blue is falling. Show me, show me. Oh my goodness. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, when you're using acrylic paint uh, for fluid art, you don't want it to be this thick. It should actually be fluidy and flowy, and that's one of the reasons why I uh, tend to pick uh, Fevicryl Hobby Ideas paints for the same. because they are more fluid yeah, so i all right okay all right a little of blue and a little of yellow as well okay uh, this one's flowing quite well no it's still too thick it's still too thick all right great brilliant so now i should spread it on the canvas right <laughs> Can you show us what you're doing? Just a sec. Yeah. Now. Okay. So I now it's handled. Yes. Bring your camera a little lower. Can't you can't see the newspaper? Can't see your painting actually. Okay. Bring it a little lower, Vikram. I am kind of focusing on uh, disseminating the paint on the canvas. I know, but दिख नहीं रहा है what you're doing. Okay. Hmm. Okay. So. Uh, okay. Now should I spread it around? Yeah. How? How are you going to do that? I think I pick it up and I'll uh, uh, just swirl it around. This is the normal. Yeah. Yes. So I'm gonna uh, again uh, use uh, use my. Uh, trusty yes okay now we're back to handheld we are not back to handheld no oh, sorry we're back to uh, using the What are you doing? No, there was a lot, a little drippings on the side of the cup, so I was using that to add to it. Yeah. Okay. okay, ladies and gentlemen, why is it so difficult for Vikrant to get the paint to flow? Is because the consistency of the paint originally is really quite thick. Because it's really quite thick, it's going to be difficult to make it flow. So when you have a uh, paints like this acrylic paints like this which uh, are a little thick what you can do is um, you can so there are um, certain mediums fluid art mediums you get in the market uh, you mix the paint uh, with the medium so each paint separately you mix it so you like if say for example here the crayon has taken three different colors so you have three different cups in which you pour a little bit of the paint and then you pour the fluid art medium in it and then you stir it up and after stirring it up you will realize that it becomes a little more fluid than the paint originally itself 
now these uh, flu fluid art mediums are a little on the expensive end um so you may want to or you may not want to buy it and that's why if you find that it's a little expensive that's why i recommend hobby ideas and acrylic colors because they are generally fluid in nature they are not they are not thick they are fluid in nature also if your paint is thick and you really want to you know uh, make it flow what you can do is you can use fevicol and water so you can take a uh, water in a container and put a little fevicol in it mix the water and the fevicol in such a manner that it it creates a paste which is not too thick and which is not too thin so you don't want the paste to be absolutely watery but you don't want uh, the mix to be too thick also somewhere where you know when you pour it flows a little bit like milk or uh, a little thicker than milk so you mix um, i think it is um, i i don't remember the proportions i normally just do it off the bat i don't go with measurements i just see what work what ratio works for me best and then i mix accordingly and then the quantity that you require you create that much and then you put the paint inside of it and then you mix it and that serves to be um fluid art um, medium for uh, making the acrylic paint flow so you can do either of those things uh, for now vikrant may have to struggle a little bit because the paint is a little thick so if you are hearing certain tapping and banging noises that is something that you know helps move the paint it's just the same like ketchup ka jar jam ho gaya thar 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 and then the ketchup goes so it's kind of sort of like a similar principle that uh, vikrant is trying but if vikrant gets fed up and tired of doing that uh, he can definitely make use of other tools like a uh, pencil or his own fingers or something and where he can just you know uh, uh, move past his finger or a pencil to create certain patterns and that will probably uh, help him but that again is entirely that will be that will be my my last resort i'm going to try and spread it as much as possible and then one uh, like uh, like considerably spread uh, spread the colors are considerably spread then i might use my fingers a little to add to it ladies and gentlemen he says he might use his fingers to add to it i must that <laughs> So far, I've gotten this, this out of it. Oh, okay, not bad, not bad. So this is a piece that I have made. Sorry about that. This is a piece that I have made uh, with fluid art. Okay. So sometimes, if you feel that you know your paint is laid on too thick, jhatka do. jhatka do use movement use motion because see if you're just going to tap behind it is probably just going to move from that dot but it's not going to move in any direction so let's say for example your paint is on this spot and you want it to move downwards from this spot you jhatko fi it like this and then maybe the paint moves did you try that vikram yeah i'm try i'm doing that only now all right So so far I've gotten this out of that as well. See, better, right? So, Speed wise. Yeah. Yes. I'm just trying to make it uh, a little more consistent uh, so that it spread everywhere. Okay. i think i will also do a fluid art video okay Just... so far i've gotten this so far i've gotten this all right so all i right. i i think yeah so i think uh, i'm on track okay and there's a lot of banging happening in this video hey this is so far the most action i've gotten all year 
<laughs> Dear Lord, ladies, if you want to slide into his DMs, you cannot do that because you don't have his number. Just drop in an email at the amp6 at the rate gmail.com. Or comment, the or comment, in the, comment in the video. Comment in the video. Comment down below. Yeah, yeah, put a comment in the comment section below this video. And uh, probably then we can have his um, parents also read the comments. And then the rest will probably be history. So far, I've gotten this. Okay, raise it up, 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 up. Yeah, better. Okay, the blue doesn't seem to. The blue is kind of sort of like non-existent. Yeah, but I think I like the pattern yet still. Uh, All the right. Blue, All right. Uh, the hue of it. All right. Maybe I All could right. have added a bit uh, more of blue. Okay, probably. That's okay. We all learn. So, this heart that you can see here was my first official uh, fluid art painting. Okay. Yeah. Before that, I did an unofficial fluid art painting. I did it for a contest uh, with this uh, kid in my building. And um, it turned out to be really pretty, but uh, we used a completely different technique in doing it, uh, which was a little too time consuming. And then uh, eventually I learned and I realized that, oh, okay, uh, that's one method. There are many other ways in which you can actually do this thing. So, yes. Ooh, I can show you guys one thing that I did with fluid art. So this is, I, I have another cell phone um, and this is the cover of my cell phone. I have fluid art at the cover of my cell phone. So the only issue with uh, doing fluid art on my cell phone cover is that uh, I don't have varnish. So varnish or varnish uh, helps me finish off my project. Varnish. Uh, if, all right, varnish. Uh, if I would have had varnish and I could have applied it, it would have helped me finish off my project and it would have um, helped this from um, or prevented this from getting any marks on it. It may not be too visible to you guys, but there are some scratch marks uh, on this. If you look at it in a certain angle, you may see some of them. But yeah, otherwise, um, so if uh, it's a little... Um, if I keep it on any surface, it can catch dust easily. Uh, a layer of varnish will actually help prevent catching dust in it and things like that. That's the case with a, a cell phone cover because that's the maximum used surface and it touches on other surfaces it's in your hand, it's on a table, it's on multiple surfaces. Uh, whereas with the, the projects on my wall, not a single one of them has varnish on them. They are just, they're just as it is. Um, did fluid art, let it dry and uh, then I put it up on the wall. So they don't have varnish, uh, but I do um, um, clean them on a daily basis. So with a gentle dry cloth, gently I just, you know, rub over them a little bit uh, so that they stay neat and clean. Yes, Vikrant, with all the banging, 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 where have we reached? So this is this is where I've reached so far. Woohoo! Not bad, Mr. Utekar. Not bad. So yeah. Now I think I think I'm relatively happy with how this has turned out all right awesome i'm glad that you're happy so uh, another trick is so um once you have finished once you're happy with your surface it is quite possible for the paint to trickle off the edges okay and you mm -hmm. don't want them to trickle off so what you do is you are holding your canvas uh, hold it like this just the way i am holding it take your finger and just swipe off any excess that is there around the edges 
So just swipe off any of the excess because if you leave it like that, it is going to dry and that blob of paint will be visible. If there's like a droplet of paint and if you don't really swipe it off, it will stay there as a droplet of paint. Okay. Yes. I have used my uh, fingers to cover some of the... Uh, that's perfectly uh, fine. Portion yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's, that's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. That's perfectly fine. Yeah. Yeah, like, Can we I'm have a close-up, like, if that's possible? Ooh, not bad, Vikrant. That's nice. That's nice. Very nice. So, yeah. how does it feel? Like, yeah, for my like I've never been uh, the arts and crafts guy so kind of okay with what I've managed to uh, do here mm -hmm. like for a first attempt it's not half bad but how did you feel while doing the whole thing apart from me pestering you how did you feel uh, I've never uh, had so much fun banging stuff <laughs> in my life. Okay. Okay. All right. And what made you choose the colors that you chose? So red has always been like, I've always been um, drawn to the color red. Red okay. is one of my favorite colors uh, in uh, the world. Um, okay. I wanted, uh, so I, I was always going to use red as the base for my first first time. Uh, so I wanted colors that would contrast with it and stand out on their own so that, you know, um, I, uh, so that it gives a little um, subtlety to it. Uh, so I chose sky blue uh, okay. as one uh, because uh, like, uh, it uh, like uh, to, it, uh, the red that I've chosen was a very dark red, so sky blue uh, w would be the add some brightness to it. And uh, then I used uh, I used ochre because it's not dark but it's not bright as well, mm -hmm. so it kind of balances it out. Okay. Yeah. All right, great. That's awesome. And how did you feel when, you know, you poured all those paints together onto your canvas? Like, how did you feel initially? So, I'm a very, uh, like, I, I don't know, like, uh, like how many people uh, out there know this, but I'm a very messy guy myself. So, there's something, you know, uh, very, um, I found something very relaxing in the chaos of it all, to be honest. Uh, so yeah, like I I I I think I might just might uh, you know uh, continue this. I have I have well, five great. other canvases. Awesome. I have five other canvases with me. Uh, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna continue this. I'm gonna use them. I'm gonna uh, uh, like I might not become like a professional or something, but you know these might just might decorate my uh, my room someday yeah. sure sure why not just imitate a certain person's room of course totally yeah you know, this this was the whole the whole idea of this was ki, uh, let's do some let's uh, draw uh, to draw me out of my comfort zone and mm -hmm. this was definitely not my comfort zone. Uh, but yeah, I had fun, man. I had fun. Uh, that's awesome. that's really great. So uh, talking about comfort zones. So comfort zones are always that safe space where we know things are in our control. We know we are capable of doing certain things. Or we are used to being in this particular space and we know how this particular space works and therefore we are comfortable staying in that space. But when we try to move a little bit out of our comfort zone, we are perhaps challenging ourselves to newer experiences, allowing ourselves to actually experience those things. And um, that can result into so many beautiful things. Sure, initially, they may, there may be certain apprehensions, but um, 
taking certain steps which you probably thought you wouldn't have done before in the past uh, are just allowing yourself to experience things in a slightly different manner and that really really uh, goes to uh, help your mind in so many different ways and it's just amazing how doing simple things which you perhaps thought was something that may be uncomfortable for you to do turns out to actually give you something a lot more than just that yeah Uh, he I totally did not listen to what I said. He was just more concentrating no, I, on his painting because his painting is like, ooh, my precious. As of now. Precious. <laughs> no, uh, I'm just, I, um, like, uh, I don't know, it, it, it's, uh, it's something completely, uh, like, I have, I, I am at a loss of words right now. Okay, fine. <laughs> I am glad. I so, am uh, glad for a change. The author is for a loss of words. That is that is interesting. That is indeed interesting. Yeah. No, but uh, this was this was enjoyable to say the least. Um, this was ex- experience as the most. Of course. Of course. Uh, yeah. I'm. I'm I'm going to continue uh, this uh, like sometime awesome. like uh, like I like uh, I am going to uh, experiment with other colors uh, I'm going to like this was pretty basic as as we talked about it uh, and I'm going to I'm going to do uh, stuff <laughs> So tonight's Vikrant's night, he's going to be rolling in paint. No, no, I'm not going to do it uh, tonight per se. I, oh, ha- I, I have, uh, uh, I'm going to let this dry off uh, yeah. tonight and I'm going to right. admire my handiwork in the morning and then I'm going to... Sure. <laughs> So this uh, normally takes overnight to dry. It depends on the thickness of yeah. your paint. If it has come out too thick, it'll take a little longer. If it is not very thick, it's a little thin. It takes less a number of hours to dry out. So don't worry about that. Um, avoid uh, having anything fall on it or touch it so that it dries thoroughly and it doesn't mess up what you have created. And it can air dry. You don't have to zubber just to dry it in some other way. It can just air dry. Not an issue. Okay. Who's, no, no, right. I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm going to leave it overnight. I'm going to turn out the fan to full. And I'm going to leave right. it overnight. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching Vikrant create his first ever fluid art piece. And thank you so much for tuning in. Uh, I am really so damn thankful that you're allowing us these different experiences. It is because of you that we are trying different things ourselves. And uh, guys, if it were not for you, we would probably have never seen Vikrant do fluid art. So thank you so much to all our viewers out there. And uh, this is us signing off. We are Team Amp. Thank you.